What's going on, everyone? Mike Go back, doing another Mail Day recap. Some of the stuff I've picked up in the last couple weeks. Big stack, um, just been fun. Super into baseball mode. Spring training, obviously cruising along. Opening day, only about a week away. We just had the World Baseball Classic. It was a ton of fun. Uh, incredible drama, great games. Um, a great highlight for the sport of baseball. Uh, baseball is in a really good spot. Baseball is in a healthy spot. Things just might be shifting. Maybe the popularity is shifting to other parts of the world. I don't know. Um, it's pretty amazing. The viewership worldwide has been incredible. I'm not sure what the American numbers have been. I think they've been okay, but obviously you don't hear about it um, as much as other sporting events. But the World Baseball Classic, I think this year by far has been the most popular, the most followed, the most talked about, and probably the best. Um, and we saw Shohei Otani clinch it for Japan by striking out Mike Trout. Uh, USA, a really strong roster overall, really great lineup, but uh, the pitching staff did leave a little to be desired. Um, that's like the one downside of the World Baseball Classic, at least from the American version of it is obviously they held back a lot of the pitchers, but a lot of the position players went. Um, but either way, it was a great event. It was fun to see all these players. The passion in the crowds was incredible. The passion in the dugouts, uh, absolutely great event. And it's hard to believe anyone is against the event itself. You hear some people talk about it um, in a negative fashion for me. Uh, time to time, but overall, not too bad. Either way, super excited for the season. Um, have a bunch of pickups here. As always, uh, at least as of recent, going to be mostly Phillies pickups. Definitely fired up for baseball season in general, but specifically the Phillies after their incredible postseason run last year and really their strong run in the World Baseball Classic. Well represented. Kyle Schwarber, a couple home runs during the course of the uh, the Classic. Uh, Trey Turner, who was probably the best position player, at least uh, performance-wise, uh, in the World Baseball Classic. And then JT Romuto, who was really strong overall as well. He, I think he went like 5 for 8 or 5 for 9 um, overall, so he played pretty well. So, super excited. Let's uh, get into the mail day. I'll show some of the items that arrived in the mail. First off, this came from Tops. This has been out for a while. This is serial number to 99. It is a game used bat piece from the 2022 World Series from Game 3. That was really the final uh, glorious moment of the 2022 season for the Phils uh, as they clobbered the Astros in their first World Series game in quite a while. They hit a World Series record five home runs. As you can see, Schwarber and Hoskins went back to back. So pretty cool card there for the Phillies collection. That was kind of the last hurrah, and then the Magic ran out after that. Game four, they ended up getting no hit. Uh, game five, they had just a ton of chances. Um, it just didn't work out, fell a little short. And then game six, scoreless through five. Schwarber had a home run, uh, top six. And then, unfortunately, uh, we had the... Uh, Big home run by Jordan Alvarez. All right, next pick up. Topps Dynasty, Aaron Nola. Dy Topps Dynasty have been a great product for years. Um, sweet pieces of relic. Nice on-card autographs. This is another great card, number the 10. Unfortunately, as you can see, the case is in rough shape. Never understand how that's a thing. Now, I do understand from time to time, you'll have these cards uh, come out of the packs from tops with little scratches. This one seems to me like it was just abused. So that's, of course, disappointing. Like, just get a team bag. Stuff it in a team bag, even if it doesn't properly fit, you can eventually get one that does fit. Um, but just keep it in there so it doesn't get scratched up. All right, we got a bunch of stuff there. We'll go through uh, a few cheap pickups first, and then, well, a lot of that stuff's cheap too, but going to be different color parallels some autographs and then some graded stuff just some cheaper stuff for the collection is a tops gold parallel from 94 tops of terry mulholland got a lenny dykstra 
first year Topps Chrome from back in 1996. Got a Fleer Ultra Gold Medallion, Benito Santiago. Here's uh, Braves versus Phillies. United we stand. First game back following 9-11. So, interesting card there. Here's a Randy Wolf Refractor from Topps Chrome. It's from back in 2004. So, Roy Halladay, Allen and Ginter, 2010 Allen and Ginter. This day in history, Roy Halladay born. Lewis and Clark begin their expedition. Love these Topps Heritage World Series cards when they make them. Lee dominates game one. That was a the greatest moment, really, from the 2009 World Series. Phils came up short in that World Series as well. Game one victory. Cliff Lee just dominated the Yankees. Game two, the Phillies did not hit enough. Game three was back and forth a little bit. Missed opportunity there. Game four, they lost the lead late. And then uh, game five, they ended up winning. I was in attendance for game five. And then game six, they uh, fell short. But that was a cool moment. Cliff Lee was a great addition to the team in 2009. And then final one in that cheap stack. Phillies men up the middle. Jimmy Rollins, Chase Utley. Two of the top fills of that era and of all time. Two guys that will be on the Hall of Fame ballot for a while. We'll see how Utley performs. Rollins has hung on. He's gotten some votes. Um, still a long way to go, though. So we'll see if they... Uh, Make it in. All right, let's see what else we got here. We've got a Nick Castellanos, Topps Living Set. Nice looking card there. Enjoy the Topps Living Set. I haven't picked up uh, many of the Hall of Famers in the last year or so. Would love to uh, go back and grab some of them at some point. At this point, I've just been picking up the fills for the collection when they put them up uh, every couple months. Some 2023 Tops. we got a Dare Call. This is a Topps Vintage Stock. Vintage stocks are numbered to 99. We got a Derek Hall image variation short print, the SSP. I think they call them a golden mirror. So it's the Derek Hall. Every card in the set with an image variation. So it's kind of cool. Extra cards to collect. It's kind of a pain in the neck if you're trying to collect them all for a binder set. Here's a Reese Hoskins. SSP, this is not even the regular Hoskins. This is the Hoskins um, checklist card. So, different image there. So, still a long way to go. I think this is two. I think I have three of them, and I picked up another one, so I still have like 10 to go. So, long, long way to go. Uh, <laughs> Mootown Snackers Autograph Series, Terra Mulholland. I'm not sure why they call them Autograph Series. I mean, they have facsimile signatures on them. But just kind of a neat little uh, food and beverage oddball type of pickup. Clearly unlicensed. It's a nice insert team uh, nucleus from 96 Select. Darren Dalton, Lenny Dykster, and Greg Jeffries. I'd love to know how many games these guys played together. Because I'm going to go out on a limb and say not very many. Dalton was towards the end of the line. 96, no, 97 was his last year. He got traded to the Marlins. Uh, Lenny Dykstra was great in 93, 94, banged up, 95, banged up. I don't even know that he played in 96. He did not play much his last several years. But fun little insert pickup there. Here's a Bryce Harper from Topps Chrome Ben Baller Edition. I actually want to pick up some of the Ben Baller base cards. I like that they made them look uh, a little different than just the chain. Not like super keen on this insert and the weird cut to it, but it was cheap enough at an auction that I picked it up for the Harper PC. This is from the Topps Gilded Collection. This is a some sort of wave refractor, I forget. Luke Williams, uh, serial numbered 10 out of 10. It was not very expensive at all. Um, was able to pick it up dirt cheap. Just wanted an example of this uh, type of refractor, which I forget the name of it now. I'm sure someone knows uh, that's watching the video, so feel free to comment. But Luke Williams... I think this was just a throw-in in Aaron Nola... 
magenta or pink prism from prism jt romuto gypsy queen blue refractor numbered out of 150 cool jt refractor from allen and ginter chrome this is a bryson stott autograph so nice stott auto there ginter style a lot of high hopes for stott we'll see how he uh matures and develops in year number two got off to a very rough start in 2022 played really well in the second half Played pretty well in the postseason, had a lot of good at-bats. Um, went a little cold in the World Series, didn't actually have any hits, though he did battle. It wasn't like he was just, you know, go up there, three pitches and out. Um, but didn't uh, get it done at the plate. So we'll see how he uh, continues to develop. Here's an Alec Bohm auto from Allen and Ginter. This is 2021 rookie autograph, the mini framed auto of Alec Bohm. I think he opened a lot of eyes last year. He actually had... Pretty good season, specifically with the way things started out last year. It could have been a disaster. Got better defensively. Um, got better as a contact hitter. We'll see. Um, I know he's looked good in spring training. He supposedly put on some muscle. You hear that a lot this time of the year, so we'll see how that translates to the field. But if he could add an extra 10 home runs to his game, continue to improve defensively, and you know, continue to hit in that 285 to 300 range, you know, he'd be a really nice player for the Phils going forward. All right, here's the non-Philly. This is a redemption that finally popped in. Bobby Witt Jr., 35th anniversary of 1987. Black Auto, numbered to 199. This is from 2022 Tops Update. So I haven't decided what I'm going to do with that. Really like Bobby Witt. I like the old school designs. I love that it's on card. Don't know that it's my favorite. I actually would prefer it not to be like the black border type of stuff. Um, even though these don't even ever look black. They look more silver, but they are referred to as black typically. Um, don't like love the image or anything. So that's one that may get listed in the eBay store at a high price and kind of, hey, if you get your price, cool. If not, you know, you just hold it for the time being. All right, got this sent to me by Top Shelf. So, Jeff, appreciate it. Sent me this Doug Jones Auto, TTM Auto. Doug Jones was Philly's closer in 1994, following the trade of Mitch Williams after the 93 World Series. Disappointing finish. Uh, Phillies acquired or signed Doug Jones. He actually had a pretty solid year for him, reached the All-Star Game. Believe he was the winning pitcher in the All-Star Game in 94 as well. So, he's like your typical reliever. Two great years, a rough year, a really good year, a rough year. Then he was good in 94. But Doug Jones, auto. So thank you, Jeff. Here's a, an autograph of Amari Telemaco. I'm sure most people watching this video are going, who the heck is Amari Telemaco? And his stats were not very good, but uh, he had some good moments. I believe he pitched a gem on like Sunday Night Baseball at one point. Just one of those names from the past. This is kind of a dark card, but he does not have many Phillies cards at all. So to find an autographed version was pretty sweet. And uh, that's a cool one for the Oddball Phillies collection. I think I have this already. Um, Jackie Robinson Day. Maybe not the 2019 version. I have to double check. Either way, I saw it cheap. Picked it up. Um, just want to make sure. I have all the tops now for the collection. I don't think I had this one. The Little League Classic. Uh, Kingery Frazier Conforto. Pretty sure I never picked that one up. So happy to add that. All right, we got some Allen and Ginter Chrome. This is a mini orange refractor of Brandon Marsh. Serial numbered out of 25. I like Brandon Marsh. I think he's going to be a, a solid player for the Phils. Uh, really good defensively, and, you know, he has a chance to grow offensively. I don't think he's ever going to be a superstar, but I think he could be a really good player and an upgrade. I mean, last year they had, like, dead weight in center field for half the year, so he played pretty well, and we'll see if he can continue to progress. This one was a gift from Daniel on Twitter, viewer of the channel, 
someone put up a little fire sale and he claimed this one um, and had them ship it to me, so I appreciate it. Dick Allen X Fractor from Tops Allen and Ginter Chrome. These are not numbered, but the serial, the uh, print run on the X Fractors is 10. They are case hits. So that's very cool. Big fan of Dick Allen. And I was able to pick up the Nick Castellanos at auction on eBay. So pretty cool. Wouldn't mind picking up some more of the Phillies. Uh, sometimes they get listed very high by it now. Uh, other times they'll be at auction. Sometimes they'll sell really high and other times they'll sell low. So just keeping an eye out on them. Um, you know, a lot of people don't really seek out those uh, specific parallels. Here's a magenta refractor of Kyle Schwarber. The magentas are numbered out of 199. So cool Kyle Schwarber. Hit a couple of bombs in the World Baseball Classic. Hit a bunch of bombs in the postseason last year. At 46 to lead the National League during the regular season last year. And hopefully he will uh, continue to uh, power the Phils lineup here in 2023. Say 2022 Bowman's Best Bryson Stott Gold Refractor. Gold Refractor is serial numbered out of 50. It's a nice little Stott rookie there. It's a JT Real Muto 2022 Finest Gold Refractor. Real Muto is part of the Extended set. He's one of the short prints. They're pretty tough. They're one in every couple boxes. Um, I was actually lucky enough to hit a Real Muto in one of the few boxes I broke and got this Gold Refractor on eBay. Serial numbered out of 50. So pretty cool card there. Some old school refractors. This is a Mike Lieberthal refractor. It is numbered out of 449 from 2003 Topps Chrome. Mike Lieberthal had a hell of a career with the Phillies. Unfortunately for him, he was on the Phillies from 94 to 2006, which was the entire span of their um, drought of reaching the postseason. 93, they made the World Series. And then 07, they came back and won the division. But, I mean, he was incredible there in 1999. Won a couple gold gloves, won a couple silver slugger awards, made a few all-star games. Unfortunately, blew out his knee in 2001, was never quite the same. Um, but still, Gamer played really well. One of the better catchers, really, in Philly's history. So, Mike Lieberthal. It's Charlie Manuel, who ended up winning a World Series with the Phillies as their manager. This is a Cleveland Indians card, obviously, but from 2002 Topps Chrome. Cool Charlie Manuel refractor. Got some 2021 Topps Chrome Platinum Anniversary. This is an Aqua Wave refractor of Steve Carlton. Regular refractor of Richie Ashburn. I got like stacks of these. Aqua Wave refractor of Richie Ashburn. Um, 70th anniversary gold, Richie Ashburn, orange gold. I forget ex the exact title of it. Either way, serial numbered out of 25. Here is a yellow green 70th anniversary, Richie Ashburn, serial numbered out of 99. Black and white mini diamond refractor of Reese Hoskins. Most likely entering his final year in Philadelphia with the Phillies. We'll see. You never know what can happen. His contract is up at the end of the year. And listen, he's going to get a good amount of money following the year, specifically if he has a good year. And I think you can only sign so many guys to 15 and $20 million contracts. Not to say it's, it's not impossible he could be back, but... I feel like uh, Aaron Nola and himself are both free agents. I feel like they're going to need the pitcher a little more. So if one of the two get extended, I would think it would be Aaron Nola. That's why it's important for guys like Alec Bohm, Bryson Stott, and others, you know, some of these other young guys to perform well because you do need that balance of young guys and veterans, um, not only to get a good mix in the clubhouse, but also because you just can't pay everyone. I mean, I guess Steve Cohen in New York can, but generally speaking, eventually you have to make decisions. Here's a cool Alec Bohm mini, blue mini diamond refractor. It's a rookie numbered out of 199. Sweet card. Got some finest flashbacks. 
is a Prism Refractor of D.D. Gregorius, serial numbered out of 35, a D.D. Rose Gold, serial numbered out of 15, and a Reese Hoskins Red Refractor, that is serial numbered 5 of 5. And then we wrap it up with some slabs. So a bunch of slabs. Appreciate you guys if you're, uh, well, appreciate how, however much you watch and follow the channel. But if you're still here 20 minutes in, um, looking at mostly Phillies cards, I appreciate it. Let me know down below. So pick this one up. This is a Jonathan Papelbon 2015 Tops autographed. Jonathan Papelbon, not exactly a beloved Philadelphia Philly. Was pretty good, performed on the field as a Philly, pitched very well. Um, so he, the Phillies got their money's worth at him, just never connected with the fans. It was a rough time. The teams weren't very good. And he is not a guy who signs a tremendous amount. Doesn't really have any pack pulled Phillies autograph stuff. I do have him on a Phillies, on like a bigger Phillies card, on one of the um, team issued cards which are more like three and a half by fives or four by six um but it was really awesome to have an opportunity to pick up a tops card and the rest of these are going to be sgc this is a 90 1934 to 36 batter up john Verges, authentic just a cool little image there this guy was with the phillies for parts of two seasons never played a lot i think he really only started one full year but I'm a big fan of these batter ups. Uh, this is a 34 to 36 batter up. Dolph Camille. He uh, really well known as a Brooklyn Dodger. Played in the World Series, I believe, with them. This one's a two and a half. Uh, definitely miscut there a little bit on the punch out. They are blank backs. But super cool card there. Then we got the Chick Fullis. Batter up in an SGC3. Very cool card there. Chick Fullis, I can't remember. Wesker, you're going to have to let me know. I remember he came up during a Phillies game. He was like part of a tribute, trivia question or something. I just remember us talking about Chick Fullis, Fullis uh, during the season last year. Um, spoiler alert, Wesker may have picked one of these up recently couple real ch cheap pickups 2022 tops alec bowman and sgc 10 just a cool future stars card got it much cheaper than it would cost to grade um 2023 tops brandon marsh in an sgc 10 again cool future star it's in the tux these are guys who are members of the 2022 phillies which to me are going to be like the 93 phillies uh to a degree a special team didn't quite win it all but be remembered for the incredible ride they brought you on. So always going to be parts of the collection. And I mean, I got these again, couldn't grab the card, gr send it off, grade it and get it back for the price. I got those for, so I couldn't turn them down. So 2022 Panini Chronicles, Bryce Harper, Obsidian, nine and a half mint plus. And final card is a 2022 Topps Finest Flashbacks, Bryce Harper, 9.5 Mint Plus. This is one of those cards I was planning on at some point sending off uh, for the collection anyway. And, I mean, when I was able to grab one already slabbed at a cheap price, you know, would I prefer a 10? Sure. Does it matter if it's a 9.5? Not really. Um... This is a cool card. Love the nostalgic finest cards. So that is it. Appreciate you guys watching. Um, hopefully you guys are psyched up for baseball season and the hobby. It's just fun to collect. It's fun to uh, reflect on old times. Look forward to current times. And enjoy both the sport and the hobby. There's so many aspects of collecting. I mean, watching what's here and now. Reflecting on the past. Looking forward to the future, and of course, interacting with fellow collectors. All fun aspects of the hobby. Always appreciate you guys watching. Comment below, let me know what you think, and I will talk to you next time. Have a great one.